this is about intention, power of intention, um, which can be applied to the Ten Commandments quite nicely. Some people want to be loving. That's actually the best way to do it is keep the Ten Commandments. They will be the most loving creatures in the world. You know, everybody wants to be loving, uh, but they want to do it based on their own definition of commandments and not God's. Ten Commandments are a great stress reducer. If you are blaming God, society, your mother, your father, the devil, for the stress that's in your life while you are breaking the Ten Commandments, you might want to start by just keep the Ten Commandments. It's a great way to reduce stress and it's actually how you're supposed to live in this earth. Keep the Ten Commandments. The first one, I'm going to love God with all my heart, my soul, my mind, my strength. Ooh, that takes a long time to contemplate that one. That's a good one. That's a very good one. But going all the way down to where he says, you know, thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not kill. Or is it thou shall not murder? Oh, the Ten Commandments says thou shall not murder. It doesn't say thou shall not kill. Uh, Ten Commandments are a great place to start. Stress reduction, uh, they are a great tool. Uh, this also reminds me of the Marine Corps buddy that I that I ran into at the at the VFW, and, and uh, I was a chaplain, and he knew that, you know, and he came to me, he was a big old barber, you know, a Vietnam veteran, you know, and he, he comes over and he says, hey man, I'm guilty of murder. I, I'm, I know I murdered people. And, uh, you know, he, he was, you know, he's a, I could, I could see that he was struggling with the concept that he was a murderer and he had judgment. He felt this judgment on him. You know, and I, I explained to him very simply that, that there were parts in the Bible where God told people to kill people. This was an act of war. Sometimes it was an act of self-defense. Sometimes uh, there are records where, where it was accidental where people were, were killed. But that was not murder because murder is a different condition. Murder is a condition of the heart. Murder starts with, with an offense that may grow up to be a, a resentment and a bruise, and now it's gonna be growing to hatred. And then if the opportunity arrives, it can turn into murder. The choice to be forgiving, uh, the choice to keep the Ten Commandments is a great tool for stress reduction. So murder, the, the difference between murder, murder, murder doesn't start. Murder is a condition of the heart. Murder starts at a, at a lower level. There might be an offense, and the offense is, it goes into a bruise, it festers, and now it's angry and it's hurt, and, and now it just needs an environment to turn into murder. So that's what that, that's how why murder is a condition of the heart. Killing could be an act of war. You're being a, a good soldier. You know, you're doing your job and, and you're doing what you're supposed to do in an act of war where it's very justified. So I explained to him the difference between murder and killing. Oh, and as, as I did, it's just, the, the truth, truth just filled his heart. And when it did, his eyes, his eyes started leaking and he ran out of the building. The big old Marines don't cry in public. <laughs> they don't cry at all. <laughs> but this guy had freedom come inside of his heart as he knew that he did not need to condemn himself as a murderer. But he was, he had every right in the world to just do what he had done. He says, man, we were laying in the bush in the, in the rain. He says, in the VC, they were coming in. He said, and this guy was right there. All I had to do was roll my own 16 up, pull the trigger, and I was going to cut him in half. And he says, and I did. And he says, and I've lived with that my whole life, thinking I murdered him, that I was a murderer. But hey, the truth, when you know the truth, and the truth goes poof on the inside of you, and you're like, wow, yeah, that's kind of cool. You know, it's like, hey, the truth has the ability to set you free. I'm Chaplain Joe. I'm here to get you home. Prepare to live.